I'll do some shopping. That's ah, always nice to do. Now you're speaking complain. my language. <laughs> don't complain <laughs> about that. So I think that is also part of like your me time. We'll yes, say to love, but definitely. Yeah, it's definitely also me time. It's called retail therapy. Okay, I there we go. Thank yes. you. <laughs> So whilst their significant others are playing the bounce on the field, they are playing the moment and grabbing life by the horns. From the other half is a spotlight into the lives of the wives and girlfriends of your favorite Bodacom Bulls players as we get to know them just a little bit more. The ins, the outs, and everything in between. Stephanie Hendricks, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And yourself? I'm very, very well. You look absolutely stunning. I see that we're matching. It's yes. like, you know, did yeah. you did you stalk me yesterday or was I stalking you mm, yesterday? Like, how I'll did you know? We'll keep that a secret. We'll keep it a secret. We'll keep it a secret. <laughs> Stephanie, it's so nice to have you with us here today. You know, we just want to get to know the other side from the other half. And I think you guys are the true testament to, you know, things happening and things coming into your way um, when we look at the, the time period of 2016 to 2019. I know that your family um, went through quite a bit of, I think, what most people would see as struggles, but the people who go through it see as a challenge that you can overcome. Um, tell us a bit about what that period did for you and your family and also how you guys overcame everything within that space. So to answer your question, Liesl, um, that was a really hard time for us as a family to go through. Um, I think all of you know that he didn't, he was a bit out of rugby for three years or so, um, but he did rugby socially. But I think rugby is his passion and that's something that he really loves doing. Um, but that was change that happened in our lives and we needed to find a, um, like something that can give us hope again and to yep. make us believe again. So we are very deep spiritually. And as you've all probably seen that he sometimes wears on his wrist um, the verse of Philippians 4 verses 13. And that just says that um, anything's, everything's possible with God who gives me the strength. And I think um, we found our strength in God and mm -hmm. in the word. And that gave us that, that hope and that faith to believe that something begins going to happen. Mm -hmm. I know it's sometimes difficult when you're in that situation to, to like understand it and see it. But I think it make, made us so much stronger as a family because in that period, he started his foundation mm -hmm. because he also have a really big heart for um, our community and for helping the children in our community. So, um, yeah, we started that. We also got married in, oh. that, in oh. that period. Girl. So, <laughs> so, yes, a lot of things happened. And um, I think we just realized it. After we go through the storm, yeah. that there's always just a silver lining at the end of the day. What does a normal day in your household look like? We know when, when season <laughs> is on, like what time is he up? What are you doing? Where are the kiddies? Yeah. Like talk us through that. Okay, dear. So to start, uh, Cornell, we, we, having, yeah, we decided to have like a prayer time every morning that we have. He gets up really early and he's very disciplined. So like five o'clock five. or two five, he's, he's up and about and I said okay I will get up at six that's my time when I do my prayer because I think when you're a mother you forget just to have that me time and it's really really important because you're there for your husband you're there for your children but you need, you need to be there for yourself, for yourself yes um, and I think that is the time when you just realize who you are as a person what your values are what your principles are because in this world it's really it's rapidly changing you know and um it can be overwhelming, especially in the jobs that that the rugby players are in. And it, it, it's also very pressurized because Definitely. you have expectations and you need to keep that certain standard. Um, so I think if you can just have that time where you can just be that person to instill that strength and that motivation back into yourself, back into myself, 100%. because you're doing it for all the other people. 100%. Um, I think, yeah, then it's it's just, it helps you. You touched on, you know, looking after yourself. What do you do to look after yourself? What What is the me thing? And I'm talking about the fun thing now because you need to give us ideas. I just take a walk in the mornings when I drop off the kids and we have a small little doggy. It's a Dachshund, um, Coco. Coco. So, <laughs> so, yes, and she's like the chocolate color, typical Coco. But, yes, um, yes I just take her for a walk sometimes. Um, and then I just prepare myself for the day and... Um, yeah, after that, it is, 
either going to home sale because I'm also home sale in the morning. Mm -hmm. So that is until 12 o'clock, 10 till 12. Um, after that, I'll do some shopping. That's ah. always nice to do. Now you're speaking complain. my language. <laughs> <laughs> don't complain <laughs> about that. So I think that is also part of like your me time. Won't yes, say it too loud, but definitely. yeah, that's definitely also me time. It's called retail therapy. Okay. I've there been, we go. Thank yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so, so much for joining us today. But I have a little challenge now. Okay. Don't worry. It's not for you. Okay. It's not for you. I have a challenge for hubby because I want to see if Cornell knows you as well as I do at okay. this point. Should we call him in? Yeah, I think Should so. we call him where is he? <laughs> Cornel, welcome. Bye, thank you. Lekker om hier te wees. Listen, I know the season is about to start. Are you fit? Are you ready? Are you excited? What's the vibes? Very excited. Um, we're busy with pre-season now. Pre-season is going well. A um, little bit tough on the body. But we're getting there. I'm very excited for the season to start. I've gotten to know her over this little while. Um, I know all the inside info. And now I need to find out from you if you know her as well as I know her. Okay. So we're going to play a little couple quiz. Basically, I ask you a question about Stephanie. And then you need to see if you get it right. She's going to write the correct answer. You're going to write the answer that you think is the correct answer. <laughs> and then we'll see. What does she win in the end? Whatever she wants. Ooh, that's yeah. a husband. That's a husband. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's kick things off. So, first question is, what is Stephanie's favorite movie? Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm giving you five, four, three, two, one. Stand by and reveal. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, come on. Did you, guys <laughs> did you guys get the questions ahead no, of time? No, definitely not. You did. You did. Yeah, definitely not. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah. Well done. You're a little more. Yeah. Okay. Thank Question number three. I think you're going to get this one wrong. <laughs> How many languages can Stephanie speak? Bonus point if you can name the languages. So I'll give you five seconds. I'm being strict on this one. Okay. Five, four, Three, two, one, and reveal. <laughs> How up. did you know that? They definitely got these questions ahead of time. Like I don't know. Like, can you can you see through here? My goodness. Bonus oh my point. Word. Name them. Afrikaans, uh -huh. English, uh -huh. Spanish, and uh, Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands. Oh, what? Dutch. 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 Yeah. Listen, you have made my day. Oh. And I must say, five years of marriage has definitely paid off because he knows everything about you. Next time we do, do this, we're going to re reverse the roles. Okay. And then hopefully you get three out of three as well. And yes. he actually got four out of four for yeah. the bonus point. Yeah. Okay. So, absolutely. Good job. So I can get everything I want. Um, we'll talk about that when we go. That's a tight call. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So whilst they figure out who owes who what in this beautiful marriage, for more content on your favorite rugby players and them playing the bounce, visit the Bright Rock website.